Hi, I'm Kirby Allison, founder of The Hanger Project, and here we love helping the well-dressed take care of their wardrobes. The purpose of this video is to discuss an important accessory that anyone well-appointed should own, a proper fountain pen and stationery. So the first two pens I purchased were rollerballs, and the reason I purchased rollerballs was honestly I was intimidated by how to use a fountain pen. In this video, I want to show you how easy fountain pens are to use and talk a little bit about why a fountain pen sets you apart and why you should own one. If you're anything like me, I save all the handwritten notes I receive, and if I come across them at some point in the future, I always take a point to read them a second time because they make me feel good. And so a proper note, handwritten, on stationery with a beautiful fountain pen, really does send that message across that you're thankful or we're thinking about someone. So the first question is why a fountain pen? The reason fountain pens are so much nicer than roller balls is because of the way that the nib allows the ink to flow freely onto the paper. Fountain pens enable you to write more easily uh, and just produce a more beautiful written note than a rollerball. Secondly, a fountain pen is a signal of refinement and an opportunity to embellish something that you would already be using every day, a pen. Lastly, with fountain pens, you're able to use a variety of different inks, even mixing your own custom ink to really just show that extra hint of effort and refinement. In this day and age where so much of our communication is over text and email, taking the moment to write a handwritten note with a proper fountain pen really sets yourself apart. By further embellishing that with custom inks or really interesting inks and fine stationery, you're just minding those uh, last few subtle details that really show that you're taking the time to care and be thoughtful. So the fountain pen that I own is a Waterman Elegance uh, with an ivory handle and gold detailing. Now you can see it's got the gold detailing on the nib. Uh, I've ordered a medium point nib and I just love writing with this. It's easy to write with, it has a bold, a kind of wide stroke, uh, and uh, I just really enjoy gold detailing. Gouletpens.com is a great place to look uh, for different fountain pens and inks. And so uh, it's important to buy a fountain pen that really is just a reflection of kind of your personality. You know, something that you personally connect with. There's three different inks that I primarily rotate between. Uh, the first and probably my most favorite is this limited edition Mont Blanc uh, Permanent Gray. It's a really dark gray ink. It's not quite a black. I like it because, again, it just is that small little detail that sets you apart. So it's not black, it's not navy, uh, it's not a light gray, and so it's just kind of that subtle detail that someone notices but they're not really perceptive of. Now I've got the Midnight Blue ink from Mont Blanc, and then I've got an um, uh, Intense Black ink from Waterman. Now what's beautiful about a fountain pen is with a cartridge converter, you're able to really easily switch between different inks. And so one of the things that I'm gonna show you in this video is how to fill one of these cartridges up uh, and prime your uh, pen so that it's writing well. Now this Waterman is certainly not an inexpensive pen and I really viewed it as kind of an investment in something that I would be using for a long time. But you don't have to spend a lot of money on a fountain pen to write with one. Uh, on Goulet pens, or even Amazon for that matter, it's very easy to find cheap fountain pens that cost less than $50 with steel nibs that will still allow you to write with a fountain pen without spending too much money. I like to use something that's called a converter, which is essentially uh, just a small cylinder with a piston inside that allows it to be uh, filled and refilled with ink. Now you can also use something called a cartridge, which is essentially the same thing, but it's not refillable. I like the uh, converters because it allows you to have more control over the ink. It's easy to refill, so you're not having to constantly buy uh, different uh, cartridges. And then secondly, it allows you to use uh, a variety of inks uh, that are, are available uh, in the ink wells. Now I've got a leather shoe shine carpet that we use for shoe shining, uh, but oftentimes I'll do this above a trash can just to make sure that I don't spill any ink. This ink is incredibly permanent. If you get it on anything, you're never getting it off, so you absolutely want to be careful. Unscrew the inkwell, and then you're going to want to flush any of the ink that's from the piston out, right? So you twist this until the little piston in there pushes all the way out. Then simply stick it into the inkwell jar and then uh, pull the ink in by reversing the piston, uh, much in the same way that you would use uh, like a medicine syringe or something. 
crop it off a little bit, uh, and then always have something close by to just wipe that extra ink off. So now that you've got that full, insert it into, uh, back into the fountain pen, and then simply prime it by twisting the piston to push ink into the barrel. Now, if it's a new pen, you're gonna have to do this, um, you know, uh, more than you would think, and this is why you wanna be doing it over some type of napkin or a trash can, because ink will actually drip and flush out of the pen. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. You know, I'm pushing it, and you can see it can actually take a pretty good amount of ink before it starts coming out. And there we go, it's starting to drop. So once you see that it's starting to drop out, that means that it's fully flushed. And then what you wanna do is just run that on top of some type of napkin or piece of paper, just to take any extra ink uh, out of the pen. So once we've got that done, then I'm gonna screw this back on. Fountain pen honestly couldn't be more easy to use. There's no tricks. Uh, the most difficult thing is figuring out how to fill up the converter, and I just showed you how to do that. If you'd like to look at different fountain pens, we've got a link in the description of this video to Goulet Pens, which is who we recommend for fountain pens. They've got absolutely incredible uh, videos and other things on their website that'll teach you everything you need to know. And they've got an absolutely uh, comprehensive selection of beautiful fountain pens, both inexpensive and the most expensive available, and a comprehensive selection of different inks. So we spoke about fountain pens, and so now I wanna talk a little bit on stationery. Now, it's easy to find inexpensive stationery these days. Crane.com is an absolutely fantastic source for stationery. The next thing above just nice stationery is customized stationery, and it doesn't have to be super fancy. Uh, really nice stationery is just simply personalized with your name at the top, uh, and it's engraved. Now, engraving doesn't mean that they're engraving the piece of paper, but what it means is that they're engraving the actual block that's used to print your name onto the paper. Now, with writing notes, again, you're always gonna be using a fountain pen, uh, and I like personally just to have the month and the year, right? So October 2017, right? Just find that not being super specific on the date, that uh, just, again, slightly generalizes. And then you just would start off, you know, dear Jonathan, Thank you for the kind and thoughtful birthday. All right, and you see with a proper fountain pen that's properly primed, you get a beautiful ink saturation that just flows nicely across the note. So you'd write the note out and then just simply sign at the bottom. I hope you enjoyed this brief overview of fountain pens, stationery, and why I think it's important to use them to write handwritten notes. If you have any questions about anything I spoke about in this video, please ask them in the comments section below. I get back to all those questions personally. If you like this video, give us the thumbs up, or better yet, subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. I'm Kirby Allison, founder of The Hanger Project, and we love helping the well-dressed take care of their wardrobes.